Arthur? <laughs> Say, what's on your head? These are just my regular glasses. Really? They always have those spirally circled things on the lenses? <laughs> sure. Don't lie to me, boy. I can check with your optometrist. They're x-ray glasses. He bought them with the money he won pitching pennies. What? It too, Skitch. I thought I told you any money you win pitching pennies goes right to Skitchy's college fund, huh? No, it's just 15 cents, Dad. Please, Dad, don't throw them in the trash. Oh, don't worry, I won't. Happy birthday, Skitch. Thanks, Dad. Now go to your room. I hate it here! Those glasses meant the world to me, but you couldn't hear that, could you? Instead, you had to give them to Skitch, your beloved, your golden boy. Skitch is a smart kid. He's going places. He's going to be arrested nine times for stealing women's shoes. Hey, you want to join yourself in that bedroom? You can't intimidate me anymore, Dad. Get back here! You want a piece of me? You're going to have to come through my psychiatrist. Ooh, what have we here? Big, fancy Park Avenue head shrinker, huh? What's the matter? Couldn't make it as a real doctor? I'm just here to observe. Oh, are you, Mary? Uh, let's get out of here. <laughs> well, Arthur and I have had a very interesting hour. I think perhaps there are ways to bring about an improvement in the situation you've been having at home. Hey, listen, if uh, there's anything we can do to, to help Arthur feel better, please, you know, just say the word. Absolutely. So is the pharmacy and lobby still open, or...? Yes, why? Well, if you can write a prescription now, he'll be much happier Friday night. <laughs> May I continue? Please. Arthur, by his own admission, is a man who struggles with not being heard. The more he feels like he's not being heard, the louder he screams, literally and figuratively. As you know, he is a screamer. Not in the gay sense. <laughs> anyway, a pattern has obviously developed wherein Arthur assumes that the two of you will consider his desires to be extreme or frivolous, and thus he tends to live down to your expectations. Do you understand? I, yeah, I do. We do. <clears throat> so, um, does the pharmacy take insurance, or...? <laughs> You're not gonna write him a prescription, are you? My only prescription is more validation for this man. Listen to him. Hear him. Let him be who he is. Hey, Dad. What you got going on here? Making candles. <laughs> candles? Yes, I always wanted to make and sell them out of my own home. OK, first of all, my home. Second of all, I eat spaghetti out of that. <laughs> well, well, I'm not feeling very validated right now. No, 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 Dad. We support you all the way. And by the way, we do validate. <laughs> we just want to make sure that this is something you really, really want to do. It is. <laughs> OK, then. Oh, um, just, just try to watch out for, you know, burn the house down. Roger that. OK. Let's take him to a therapist. Wow, you're smart. Oh, my, I thought the guy would just medicate him. Did I know he was a validation quack? I'd say we just bail on this right now. We can't. I'm the one who made him go to a shrink. If we blow off what the guy says now, my dad will never listen to me again. Things will just get worse. There's a man with glaucoma pouring hot wax in our kitchen. How much worse could it get? <laughs> Anyone want a candle that looks sort of like Melvin Douglas? I do. <laughs> Mind if I hang this over the mantel? <laughs> Permission to start a bluegrass band. <laughs> Don't mind me. This is just for my documentary. <laughs> I'd like to get a large parrot and name it Douglas. <laughs> FYI, the Lipmans will be spending the night. <laughs> I'd like to get another parrot that lives and call it Douglas the <laughs> Second. Actually, perhaps I should wait until I get the rest of Douglas the First off the side of the garage. Hey, Arthur. Hello. Hey, how's the uh, bluegrass band working out for you? Got any gigs lined up? No, it never really got going. Mickey cracked his tooth blown into the jug. <laughs> hey, so when am I getting my candle in the shape of Rusty Staub? Uh, that's not gonna happen. Unfortunately, hot wax and hairy forearms are a volatile mix. Right, right. Hey, how's Douglas II doing? <laughs> I'm sorry. Hey, look, Arthur, is there anything else you need? Or, you know, anything you want to buy or, or build or immerse yourself in? Because we're here to listen. No, no, I'm 
I'm quite fine, thanks. Think I'll go grab a little nap. <laughs> that shrink is a genius. What? He knew what he was doing all along. We just kept validating Arthur until he punched himself out. I, I can't even describe to you how I feel right now. Carrie, I swear to you, I've never been happier. I've never been more miserable. <laughs> adjustments you've been making at home, the listening, the validating, that's not working? Well, it's working for my father, I guess. Now that we give him everything he wants, he doesn't want anything. No more crazy demands, no more screaming, no more fighting. It's what Doug's always wanted, he's happy, but I'm miserable. Well, let's explore that. Okay, Doug, listen to me, okay? I don't need to send your kid to college to find out what I already know. And what is that? That I like to fight. Obviously, on some level, I enjoyed fighting with my father, and now that we don't fight, I miss it. If you knew that, why'd you come to see me? Um. Well, I was hoping that you could um, prescribe me something, you know, to kind of take the sting out of it. <sighs> uh-huh. Well, since we have the whole hour, why don't we talk about your fighting issue? Wow, you really don't like to take that prescription pen out of the holster, do you? <laughs> Fine. <laughs> talk about my fighting issue. What do you want? Like a childhood memory or it's something? up to you. Ugh. Okay. Fine. Sheena Easton sucks. She does not. She's the best. You're stupid. I'm not stupid, Carrie. You are. You are. And that outfit, not your best look. <laughs> you see? I like to fight even as a kid. Are you convinced now? Well, I see what you're saying, though I find it interesting you picked this particular memory to use as an example. I picked it because it was Lucy McDonald's birthday party. She was my best friend. Let's go back. Not just yet. Why? So you can finish eating? That cake is 22 years old. It's good. I'm not really a cake guy. <laughs> What's happening over there? <laughs> 